The test of your argument about the free enterprise system and its capacity to produce both freedom and greater equality to relieve poverty, the test of that argument has to be made everywhere that the free enterprise system has been extended, has penetrated. The test of your argument is not only in what happened to England and the ostensible decline or not the decline of the English economy or what happened in the United States. The test of that argument has to look at what the free enterprise system has meant for the majority of people who do not live in England and do not live in the, Uni in the United States, who do not live in the mother countries, but rather live in that part of the world where most people live and when, where most people have had their lives disrupted, peasants have lost their land, tra traumatic, Excuse traumatic me. destruction. Excuse me, you've got to compare. Because of the free enterprise system. Excuse me, you've got, to prepare, you've got to compare something with something. Will you tell me the alternative which has improved a lot of the ordinary people? What is the system which in your mind has been successful? Most people through most history have lived in tyranny and misery. It's only a very tiny minority at any time that have been able to escape from it. That's the real beauty. That's the real achievement. Now, will you tell me what the alternative system is, which is achieved? Though, well, tell me what. The, excuse system. me. And I say that elsewhere in the what's world, what's the alternative? The free, what's the alternative? What's your alternative? The free enterprise system is of itself not an alternative because, as you agree, it does not exist. We are arguing really to defend those interventions which have been made by government on the behalf of people in an effort to reduce inequality in an effort to reduce oppression. And tell me, which, which, are those, are which, which of those are you defending in which of these countries where those interventions have benefited the masses? In most of the countries where you have departed from the free enterprise system, you have had a small class benefited at the expense of the masses. If you take the African countries, which have become one-party dictatorships, are you going to tell me they have benefited the masses? Well, well, I'm, I'm astounded by the examples of the third world uh, that uh, are brought into here. Uh, those parts of the non-capitalist world uh, in which uh, the capitalist system is, has penetrated are typically higher income places than those parts where they haven't. Are you talking in any kind of testable hypothesis or is it just axiomatic that it's so? Because uh, the studies that I've seen indicate that those countries where capitalists have never gone near them are poorer than they've ever been. They were poor before the capitalists got there, they were poor while the capitalists were there, and they're poor after the capitalists have You're left. Right.